Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today, I'm going to read a story about the smartest boy in math class. I know y'all love it. Last to finish. Written by Barbara Isham. Illustrated by Mike and Carl Gordon. I always thought that math was going to be my thing. My dad is an engineer, and he always says that math is the key to success. It is just my luck that the door to success is locked with the math keys. I'm Max Leonard, and I'm a third grader at Perryville Elementary School. This year has been a bit tough for me because it's the first time that I ever felt I was terrible at something, and that doesn't feel so good. The problem started when Mrs. Topel, our teacher, started using the timer to test us on our multiplication facts. If I take my time. I can get every one of my math facts without any problem at all. The problem comes when I have to finish them in record time, like a sprinter running toward the finish line, hoping to break the world record. The timer works just fine for some kids, like David Peterson. He likes to be the first to finish everything. It doesn't work for me. As soon as Miss Topel starts the timer, my heart begins to pound, my hands begin to sweat, and then the worst thing happens: my mind freezes. It happened again today. One by one, my classmates finished their math facts. I knew the answers last night when I did my practice test, but they disappeared today. All I could think about was that terrible timer, ticking that terrible tick, tick, tick. What happened? Are math facts erased from my mind while I sleep? Why does two times three suddenly look like an alien message that can only be deciphered by scientists? Time is up," Miss Topol announced. "I was the last one to hand in my paper, and I still had twenty problems to go. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, David Peterson whispered, 'Max, Max, last in math.' In the lunchroom after math, David continued to tease me. Why does David Peterson have to be so cruel?" Does embarrassing me make David Peterson feel important? Max, Max, tick tock. The chanting started up again during recess, like I knew it would. The chanting was so loud, even the preschool class heard it. Dee thought it was okay to chant along. Max, Max, last in math. After school, I went straight home to do my homework, and the day got even worse. I couldn't find my math folder. I emptied my backpack to search for it, which wasn't such a bad idea. I needed to get rid of a few things. Mom, I can't find my math folder. I admitted, it was embarrassing. Max. You are going to have to be more responsible with your schoolwork, especially your math materials," she replied. Sometimes I get the feeling that my mom and dad are disappointed in me. I know they love me, but I want them to be proud of me too. Maybe I'm just disappointed in myself. Timed math facts have ruined everything. Max. Miss Topel and Mr. Singleton have asked us to attend a meeting. Do you want to discuss your math performance? 
I'm sure that everything will be just fine. Remember, Max, your dad and I are proud of your hard work. You may just need to work a little harder, my mom said with a smile. My parents had been encouraging about the conference, but I was nervous when it was time to meet a few days later. I expected Miss Topel and Mr. Singleton to tell Mom and Dad that I was the worst math student they'd ever taught at Perryville Elementary. The fateful day arrived. Mr. and Miss Leonard, thank you for taking the time to meet with us today, Mr. Singleton said with a serious voice. About two weeks ago, I found Max's math folder in the hallway. I didn't return it because I was very surprised by the math exercises Max had been working on. He added, We thought it was important that we discuss Max's math ability with you, Miss Topel said. Math ability? I thought, what math ability? I'm always the last to finish my math facts. I guess it's the lack of ability we'll be talking about. I knew this conference wouldn't be good. How long has Max been practicing Algebra 1? Mr. Singleton asked. Algebra 1? There must be a mistake, my dad said. Max is only in third grade. My mom looked confused. Max, what is Mr. Singleton talking about? Algebra is something I do for fun. It's like a puzzle. I finished my older brother's pre-algebra book last year, so sometimes I borrow his Algebra 1 book. If he isn't using it, of course, I said quietly. All this time, we've been concerned about Max's math performance. He has struggled with memorizing multiplication facts all year, my dad said. Max has been asked to memorize math facts. That is difficult for some children and adults, Mr. Singleton explained. Max is the type of math student who understands how numbers work together. He may not be the type of student who learns by memorization. Some people are great at memorizing all sorts of information, while others are great at understanding information. If I could choose between the two, I would rather have students understand mathematics. Mr. Singleton said with a smile. You need your thinking cap for algebra, and Max seems to be wearing his a bit early. Does this mean that Max will move ahead to algebra? My dad asked with pride. We will need to be sure that Max has a complete understanding of the math concepts leading up to algebra. Max will work in a program for accelerated math students so he can build on what he has mastered, said Mr. Singleton. I would also like him to join our math team. He would make a fine addition. Me? On the math team? That is the strangest thing I have ever heard, I said. Not really, Max. You seem to be an algebra whiz. Let's give it a try, my dad added quite proudly. Well, maybe I'll give it a try, but under one condition. No timer. The end. Thanks so much for listening to my reading. Did you like it? I hope you did. Please click the subscribe button and see you next time.